Fulton. We want a Fulton Brewery in Minneapolis. All right, we're here in front of Fulton's Brewery Company where we are trying this Sweet Child of Vine. We got recommended to go here, so we're gonna we're gonna take a trip inside and see what it's all about. So we're here at Fulton's Brewery. Uh, see the brewery behind us. We can't really get back there, but this is a, this is what's up. We took that little taxi, Jeff. We got us here, and uh, cheers, dude. Your beer. All right, we're here at Fulton's Brewery with Chris, CJ, sorry, CJ, I already screwed sure. it up. So you want to give us a little uh, insight on microbreweries? Uh, microbreweries have been popping up a lot lately. It's been coming the new hot thing to for people who like enjoy beer, especially different beer. Everyone's been drinking the same stuff for as long as we can remember, you know, Guinness being one of them and uh, McGoldens and Budweiser's and all those things. So microbreweries basically, they're basically just about people who wanted to try something new and find their own creativity in their own kind of type of beer. Um, the reason they're so popular now is because people are realizing that we all get together for one reason, to enjoy good beer. You don't get people that come in here and that do body shots or it's a really relaxing atmosphere. You come here, you bring your own food, you can have food trucks, which are symbiotic with, uh, food, with uh, breweries, of course. Um, to be honest with you, I think it's the new way of the go. Like it's the new thing for, for people to enjoy because it's simple, it's about beer, it's about good food, about good company. And, uh, well, as you can tell, you've been here. Yeah, yeah. You're enjoying the Randonneer, which yeah, just came out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, somebody coming here first time, what would you recommend? Also, give the location and stuff. People want in the Minneapolis area want to find it? Um, well, our location is 414 6th Avenue North, or South, actually, in downtown Minneapolis, right a block away from the Twin Set, which is awesome, by the way, in the summertime. We get people that come in here and just, they come in for good, good beer for five bucks. You can get any beer you want on tap. And then you rock right down to the stadium, enjoy a good ball game, a good brat. And I mean, you can't beat it, you know? So what I would say is like, the first time coming here, we are open. We want you to experience any beer. We ask you what you normally drink, and then we try to pair you with that beer and just give you a better version of that, of what you're normally used to. Uh, not saying our beer is probably better than anyone else's, but we enjoy our beer as well. Uh -huh. And uh, we want everyone to have a good time doing that. So uh, what we expect people to come in here is just relax. Don't have, there's no high pressure, no sales. If you don't like something, we'll get you something different. Um, we always suggest, you know, one of our top three, Lonely Blonde, Ring, or a Sweet Child. A Sweet Child being my favorite. Of course, we have our seasonals, which are worthy adversary libertine uh god we have so many more where right now the rando just came out uh we have the matrice that just came out as well and we have our minnesota mild i mean there's so many beers that pop out and not only just our brewery all breweries for that matter have those seasonal beers which are absolutely ex ex it's amazing amazing time in breweries right now so so here you can also do the tour can you do a tour of the, yes. the place saturdays one two three and four you come in here it's the first come first serve no reserve or anything like that show up in person you show up at noon you sign up for whatever tour you wear we have 20 people spots for each tour and it's a great it's free um beer is allowed on the tour we encourage people to have beer on a tour because it's an hour long but it's very informative it gives you a great idea of what's going on in the brewery uh, basic knowledge of what you need to know and how to make a beer for any starting brewer home brewer it is an amazing adventure it's a great idea where you get the ideas from how to start off with what you want to like create because it's art it's art baby art in a glass that's the way i call it so anybody want to find you on the internet you got a facebook youtube twitter any of that uh, fultonbeer.com um just click on the website uh, just say you're 21 and uh, we have all of our beers that are on our daily roster what food truck we have showing up if there's any events showing um, and we are open on weekdays from Wednesday except for twins games we're open on all those except for Sundays um, we're open from 3 till 10 Monday uh, Wednesday through uh, Thursday and then actually Wednesday through well, actually no Wednesday through Thursday <laughs> I know that and then uh, from and Friday from uh, 3 to 11 and then Saturday we're open from noon to 11. I should know this. I've been working here so darn long. They all blend together. That's you know? right, man. I want to thank you a lot, man. It's been a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Come on back anytime. All right. Thanks for having us. You got it. Thank you.